Okay, so I figured it out. Um, the bottom plate just slides away from the uh, the top plate, so slide that off. You gotta watch out for the buttons because those are sticking out and they. Oh shit! There we go. I don't see any potentiometers right off the bat, but that doesn't mean I won't find them somewhere. <laughs> there are some devices underneath the LCD, so I'm going to remove these two screws and uh, take a look. Uh, looks like that's not going to come easy. <laughs> okay, looks like I'll take out a couple more screws. One more. There we go. Ah, success. Okay, so we've got a couple of uh, ICs on the back. Those look like actually MOSFETs probably. Um, MOSFETs, transistors, IGBTs, SCRs, most likely MOSFETs. Mm, there's a bunch of new things out there. Thin FETs or channel FETs or whatever the fuck they are. They're all the same thing. Glorified transistors. And I don't see any potentiometers on there. So probably what it is, is um, there's probably some sort of voltage divider circuitry in here that uh, basically divides the voltage of the, the output. Um, and so it uh, divides the voltage from the output and um, a feedback pin to an IC uh, that where it goes through a resistor, so and then it measures the uh, the voltage that's being um, on the other side of the divider uh, with the with the resistor. So if I can find that resistor, I can actually change the value of that resistor um, and proportionally adjust the uh, the feedback loop. So instead of uh, um, 4.29 or whatever volts, it will should be 4.19. The issue is going to be finding that that uh, feedback um, resistor and uh, figuring out the value to uh, to change it to. Sometimes you're lucky and the things are labeled. Sometimes you're not. So I'm gonna have to spend a lot a little time doing that. And when I do, when I find it, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.